fight between Arthur Benabiev, the unified 175-pound champ against Calvin Smith. So I'm going to give my prediction for that fight. So we got Taylor the Tate. We got Arthur Benabiev, the Russian monster. You know, perfect record. No losses. 19 wins. No losses to be exact. 19 wins by knockout, so he has 100% knockout ratio. But the BF is in a select few of boxes in the sport that have 100% KO ratios. You know, another boxer that comes to mind that comes to mind is uh, Gary Antoine Russell. He's one. Virgil Ortiz Jr. He's another one. Okay, uh, he's uh 38 years old, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch all reach. Then we got Callum Smith. Uh, he is at 29 wins, one loss, 21 wins by knockout. His only loss came out of hands of Saul Alvarez, down at 168 pounds. Um, Callum Smith is, uh, I'm not sure how old he is. Uh, box rank is crazy, man. Like some fighters, they list their age. Some fighters, they don't have their age. You know, box ready to get it together, man. But, uh, they got Cal Smith down at six foot three with a seventy eight inch arm reach. So I was uh, definitely he's younger than uh, Arthur Benavidez. He has the height and the reach over him too. Seventy two percent knockout ratio. So Callum Smith has some pretty good power. All right. Um, he already two fights in at one seventy five, and uh, his all his fights at one seventy five so far have come at the head by knockout. Uh, First fight was Gilberto Rivera. I think that was the fight where the dude he had the dude on the floor. It looked like he was having a seizure. That was that was insane. Uh, that was way back in 2021. Knocked him out second round. And the, the next one was in 2022 against Matho Badalik. He knocked him out in the fourth round. Pretty good showings. Uh, but his third, you know, I, I like to go back to all like three fights back with each fighter. All right, and Sal Alvarez was one fight, which was in that third fight group. Uh, got beat off for 12 rounds. Ended up getting, uh, I think his bicep got popped by Canelo Alvarez. That was intense, man. But he fought. Fought through the whole 12, didn't get knocked out. Uh, but let's talk about uh, uh, Arthur Benabiev. Let's talk about uh, his last three fights, okay? Okay. Um, his last three fights, obviously, came by knockout. Uh, Anthony Yard, Joe Smith, and Marcus Brown, okay? And within those three fights, he went to war with Yard pretty much. He was hurt a few times in that fight against Anthony Yard, which was his latest fight. Uh, Joe Smith, he destroyed Joe Smith in two rounds, absolutely obliterated him. And the Marcus Brown fight... Um, he beat Marcus Brown down, but, you know, Marcus Brown was in there. Uh, he got dropped twice, too, Marcus Brown. And he was in there doing a lot of dirty shit. And uh, better be ever ended up getting his whole shit split at the top. But he still knocked his ass out. So, out of those three fights, uh, Anthony Yard gave him the most problems. So, um, not, not to be surprised, because Yard has serious power, too. Yard's power, I think he had a 95% KO ratio. So Yard got some power. All right, so he still look, he still never got knocked out or never got never had a loss. So with those three fights, I mean, between them two, uh, better BF showed that his last three fights was better than uh, Callum Smith showed in his last three fights. Uh, Callum Smith, tall fighter, leaky, uh, good body body he's a great body puncher power in both hands but mainly his right hand he has sneaky left hand power too um kind of slow a little on the slower side sluggish fighter uh kind of like a pressure fighter almost like come forward ultimate bf uh, is known to be a destructive puncher excellent jab good body work as well um very underestimated in the boxing department, Arthur Benabia. A lot of people think they look at Benabia as this like co forward pressure fighter. Uh, but he also can box because he showed that he could box. 
He was boxing Joe Smith a little bit in there for those two, those two rounds. Uh, and he was showing a little bit of boxing against Yard, but he was boxing really good against Joe Smith. He showed that he does have feet, but, you know, he's getting a little older now. That fight was two years ago, so uh, we're getting, we're in 2024. He's a little bit slower because in the Yard fight, showed a little decline. So how does this fight go? Well, if Callum Smith fights tall, he has a better chance of winning by decision. If he fights tall, keeps better be if mid range or keeps him out, keeps him a little bit further out. You know, outbox him a little bit. It's that time's got to come in and bring bang him to the body. That is where he's going to be the most vulnerable at, where it's going to be a little dangerous for him. Um, I don't know if he has the, the defensive prowess to really stop what's, what Artemidia Beaver is going to hit him with. And that's what's going to be the deciding factor for me. You know, uh, with that being said, though, uh, is it possible that we can see an upset in this fight, man? This, listen, anything is possible. Uh, but... I watched Better BM get hit by Anthony Yard. And yeah, he was hurt, but he, he he shook it off and came back and knocked Yard out. I don't think Callum Smith was rocking with that kind of power. Um, he could possibly hurt Better BM. I, I can't see it. Uh, that, the body shots could possibly hurt him. Uh, so if Better BM does get hurt in this fight, look for it to be to the body. Okay, a lot of European fighters, their bodies are very weak. If you really think about like, you seen it with Lomachenko. You saw it with uh, Usyk. Golovkin don't like body shots. So I think the key to beat a lot of these Euro fighters is hitting them to the body. Uh, but I don't really see that possibly happening. I see uh, Callum Smith getting a little bit too comfortable in that fight. Trying to make it a nasty fight with better BM. Trying to smother him. Bring it on the inside. You know, having a lot of confidence in his inside game. And I think that's what better BM goes to catch him and crack him with something that we don't think is hard. But you know, he don't need much room to generate his power. You know, so if even if Callum Smith was up on him, he still could generate his power. It's, it's amazing. His power is crazy. So I see uh, Callum Smith having some success early, like the, like three rounds. Around the fourth, fifth round, he's going to get a little too comfortable in there around the fourth or fifth. And then that's when... Um, ought to better be able to go catch him with something Maybe a, a left um, It's going to probably be a right hook Or uppercut And he's going to knock him out So this fight is only going to go five rounds I'm being generous here So it might even it might even get stopped sooner than that But I got A little faith in Callum Smith to be able To at least move around for a good three four rounds Before lights out You know so I am going with ought to better be able, My fifth round knockout let me know what y'all prediction is for this fight. Drop some comments, all the good stuff. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out.